I get corrective color all the time. And one of the biggest things that I see is that a lot of people come to me that are very, very blonde, often too warm, and they really want to feel more modern. So this is going to be the finished outcome of what I'm going to describe to you in this capsule. When this client came in, she had buttery yellow hair all over and really wasn't happy with it. And she wanted to have a much more shadowed base happening and a nice bright blonde. So there's a bunch of different ways to approach this and you have to quickly think about how am I going to approach this problem? And I'm gonna give you one way to do it because there's lots of different ways to do things, but you gotta start somewhere, right? So when this client came in, I thought a lot about how I was going to brighten her hair. And I can't make yellow, like a yellowy blonde, into a lighter blonde with glazes alone. So that's definitely going to incorporate some use of foil. So I knew that I was going to have to foil her hair as well as do balayage and corrective work in between. It's a lot to ask within the segment of time, but definitely doable. I wanted enough foil that I was going to get nice streams of bright color. But I also wanted to make sure that I could honor the fact that I wanted to build depth back in here. So there's several techniques within this technique. When I wrapped her head, I used a lot of foils in groupings. We talk a lot about doing things in sets or groupings. And as I worked through the front of her head, I did five back-to-back -back foils with a little bit of hair in between, and then I jumped a chunk, which basically means I'm gonna leave a little pocket of depth. Even though this is buttery yellow, I'm still gonna leave it because I can address it afterward. And then my next grouping was four back-to-back. -back. So you can see that there's four back-to-back -back right there. And then I dissolved my design, three back-to-back, -back, three back-to-back. -back. So as I move back the head, I'm going to decrease my design. Increased at the front, five foils, creating a stronger impact, which is definitely where this modern blonde look is, brighter through the front, and then it dissolves as we move back. The corrective part is going to be addressed on the in-between of each of these foils. I'm gonna draw that out for you. So I did one whole side with the foils, and then I stopped for a moment. My foils, I used a pretty low developer. I think I went with 20 volume. I didn't want it to work too quickly. And I didn't use a, a lightener that was super powerful. I wanted something with, that would take its time a little bit. So I went through and I did that. Then in between, I went with a no lift glaze and I did kind of a single process. So because it was so yellow, I went in with a formula that was very ashy and a little bit violet. So the first, uh, thing I did was I almost went through with a tint bottle like I was doing a single process and up to the really yellowiest part of the hair I went in with a level 8 uh, natural ash with a little bit of violet in there in order to equalize that a little bit I wanted to hit that down take that down a bit depending on the contrast that you're looking for you could also have gone in with level 6 depending on how dark you want that to be. So uh, this is definitely a good choice if you're looking for kind of a deeper, deeper base, or you can go with eight if that person is just looking to balance that out. So as I move through, I did a single process in between all of these, and because I have these big chunks of color, it's not as difficult to go through. Now remember, I only did the first half. That way, I didn't even address this yet. That way, I'm not worried. Hairdresser anxiety is a biggie. You wanna make sure to manage what you're doing so that you are calm and really addressing each problem as you go through. Once I went through and I did the single process on that root area, then through the rest of it, depending on what you're, you're set with, mine was just pretty yellow. It wasn't like overly crazy on the ends. Then I addressed this formula. I added a bunch of clear and I ran that through the rest of the strand. So I used the same tint bottle, went back to my dispensary, put a bunch of clear in, and ran it through. Not all the way, actually. I kind of went through to here because I wanted to brighten up some of those ends. Remember, you can't make yellow crisp light unless you lift it a little bit further. So then I went through and I balayaged the ends. Let's show that. Okay, we're gonna now address the balayage portion of this project. We've only done one side, theoretically, and we're going to work the balayage through these ends. 
I've gone through and I've base strapped these and then I've pulled something down to neutralize it because remember we're eliminating a lot of yellow. So one of the things I like to do is gently run my comb over the top to sort of manage the hair that is still existing that I haven't yet captured. And then I'm going to grab each of these sections. It's actually a little bit easier when you're doing it when it has a base on it because it's a little stickier, it sticks together. And I'm gonna lift these up and move these out of my way so that I can work from the interior out. Clipping these up, getting these up and out of my way helps me to utilize the hair underneath in a cleaner, more orderly fashion while everything else is doing its job. So when I come through here, I want to address the pieces closest to her face and get them nice and bright so that we can get that nice, clean, bright, icy finish, especially on someone whose hair is a little bit on the yellow side to begin with. So I'm gonna grab these pieces. Now, I'm not gonna try to go in between every foil. I think it's crazy. There's not enough hair in there, especially for balayage. I'm going to grab these pieces on the end, take a look at what I have, decide what goes where, and I'm going to address only the ends of the hair because they still need to be lifted a little bit. Because this is getting lighter, we're gonna get that nice, clean, bright, but now we need to anchor that through the bottom in order to have a true modern blonde finish. So I'm coming through, I'm going to apply my balayage lightener to this entire set worth of hair. And that way, I am not messing around in between every little foil trying to lighten those pieces. This is a really great way to use your time wisely. So I came through, I've got that first set done. This is the five back-to-backs happening in these groupings. I'm grabbing this hair. And because you still have all of this pocket of depth in here, which is now being corrected with the glazing and the demi-permanent color, you are still going to get a really nice pocket of depth, which is gonna give you that modern blonde look in order to have that moving. Now, because I'm closer to the front of the hat face, I'm going higher up on the hair strand. Let's say my glaze has come down into this a little bit. I'm not gonna overly obsess about that. I'm gonna paint right over top of it without going too far. You wanna keep that in mind when you are doing the corrective portion as you move through the head. Using my disposable towel to just kind of clean my hands up a little bit. And then I'm gonna drop down the next packet. You can see how efficient this is because I pre-clipped these up. This is definitely the way to go. Efficiency is everything in hair color and money making for that matter in order to make sure you use your time most wisely. You can see here I'm up higher on the hair strand. I'm gonna wanna start dropping that down. You never wanna be completely consistent as you move through the hair because you're going to create a line of demarcation which is unsightly and doesn't look cool and modern. That's for darn sure. So I'm coming in here through the hair, a little bit lower in the hair strand, and I'm playing this out as I move back through the head. This is an incredibly valuable tip that will really help you when you are working on corrective color or balayage foil combos in general. Creating the pockets of depth is what makes modern hair color now, and you wanna make sure that you are thinking about how that hair is gonna play out when everything comes down. Now I'm gonna work my way through the head all the way back, reducing how much balayage I'm doing, but making sure that I have enough going on in there in order to make this pocket get bigger as we move to the back of the head, as illustrated in our picture. So we can go ahead and take a look at this, and then we're going to go back to the whiteboard and we're going to do a little bit of a detail shot on how to glaze that. Okay, so you see that I have drawn my classic profile pick post lip injections, and now we are going to discuss the glazing of this corrective work. So we've done a whole bunch of different highlights in here, building it up all through the back, but now we have to really make that pocket come out. So once this is all processed and comes down, we still need to do a little bit of detail glazing. And one of the more important moments is that we are going to drop the base, especially in this area in order to emphasize the pocket of depth. So on the hair strand, 
we are going to build that while it's damp in the bowl. So let me make this clear. We're gonna shampoo the hair, comb it all out, and then take a look at the back of the head. So almost a yarmulke type area, we're going to do a base drop. I like to use 7N and 7P only through that back area. So like a 7N, 7P, or a pearly ash, or something to that effect. You wanna drop that down, beat that down a little bit, and cool it off all at the same time. Then through the rest, you can glaze all of this hair with something more cool. I have a glaze I call Ice Princess, and I would definitely be using Ice Princess on her. So Ice Princess, Ice Princess, all through the ends. Then I would take my fingers while this is processing and I would do the pinch and pull. So I would pinch the hair a little bit and pull the 7N, 7P randomly into the Ice Princess. So it sort of has kind of a nice little dip as we move it through. That way we don't end up with this too clean of a spot. So you're building up that coolness and that pocket area, it softens it up so that you can definitely create this nice shadowed root and then you're gonna get the nice bright streams from the balayage. You can see we eliminated most of the yellow and it has a great burst of brightness, nice, clean, bright, modern blonde.